Well, good evening. Ethan back for another beer review, and tonight I'm going to be reviewing <laughs> Young's Double Chocolate Stout. Dark beer brewed with real chocolate and natural chocolate flavor added. This is six sixteen point nine ounce bottle, five point two percent alcohol by volume. This is a sweet milk stout. Product of England, brewed and bottled by Marston's Place Eagle Brewery, Havelock Sweet Bedford, United Kingdom. Imported by St. Killian Importing Company Incorporated, Everett, Massachusetts. Best before September 13th, 2020, so this is well past the best by date, but it's a stout. Um, should be okay, 5.2%, not real high of an ABV, but it should be okay. Let's go ahead and crack it. The cap has a little like a mountain goat sort of, I don't know what would that, what would that be, like a ram, I guess you could say. All right, this gets a 90, an outstanding on Beer Advocate, and a 91 on the Beer Connoisseur. Eagle Brewery, Young's Double Chocolate Stout. It's a sweet milk stout, they say in the style. A 90 they give it from the United Kingdom. Most... Ratings and reviews on Beer Advocate give it a 3.8 or a 4 out of 5. A 90 on Beer Advocate is quite high. Quite high. Go ahead and get a pour. Alright, massive five finger head. At least khaki colored. The beer itself is sort of a dark brown, not fully black. Uh, this is a lighter looking beer than, say, your Founders Maple Mackinac, Founders KBS, or Founders Breakfast Stout. I am getting some ruby red around the edges as the light hits it. Let's get an aroma. A little bit of a coffee, caramel, kind of vanilla aroma. Not a lot of aroma, honestly. Either that or my smell is off. Very nice, pleasant, kind of a light stout aroma. Not as thick and heavy smelling as some of the other stouts I've had recently, like your Founders, Guinness Far and Extra Stout. Not quite that aromatic, I would say. There are some other beer reviews for this on YouTube. Uh, it's not a rare beer by any means. I got this for... Uh, let me go grab the receipt. I have it. I just forgot to bring it with me. My bad. I got this for four ninety nine dollars for the bottle. $4.99 for the 500 milliliter Young's Double Chocolate Stout. So, that's a pretty typical price for a single bottle, you know, of, of a stout. A six pack would probably run you like $15.99 perhaps, of like a 12 ounce bottle. I don't mind spending $4.99 for a single bottle. When they get up to like $15, $16, $20 per bottle, that's when I say, hey, that's a little much. $4.99, that's no problem. All right, as I uh, smell it again, I'm getting more coffee kind of on the aroma, more of a chocolate perhaps. Man, they're revving that car out there. Very nice aroma. Let's go ahead and get a taste, even though the head's still kind of sticking around, two-finger head. This is on the light side. They say double chocolate, but this is 
It doesn't really taste double chocolatey. Uh, it kind of it's kind of thin body. That five point two percent is not really high enough, in my opinion, for a chocolate stout. I think with stouts you need more alcohol to complement the sweetness. And with this one, it's more of a thin-bodied kind of sweet flavor than a well-rounded sweet versus bitter stout. This, I'm a little disappointed with this one. This is kind of thin bodied for a stout. I'm getting a little chocolate on the flavor. But man, maybe I'm just spoiled by all the Founders beers, stouts I've had recently. The KBS, the Maple Mackinac, the Breakfast Stout, the Old Rasputin, you know. Those kind of beers, the Guinness Far and Extra Stout. This stout is just nowhere near as good as those. I mean, I'm just being honest. It really, it really isn't. Uh, I kind of expected more with this. I thought 5.2 was a little, a little low, right? A little low for a double chocolate stout in the ABV range. I don't know what the IBUs are. I didn't look those up, but this this leaves a little, you know, more to be desired, so to speak. I mean, <clears throat> yeah, I am kind of spoiled by those other better stouts I mentioned, but this is just kind of. I haven't watched another review for it for this, so there's no bias. I will watch them after this. Sometimes I watch reviews for beers when I haven't had them yet and I'm about to try them, but sometimes I wait. And this one I did wait. Uh, usually if it's a beer like Budweiser or Coors, I'll go ahead and watch the review first of someone else because, you know, I think most people... I say most, but a lot of people on YouTube probably kind of agree with those kind of beers that they're good for what they are. But when it's something uh, that I've kind of never heard of before, a, a brewing company or a, a beer that I've never heard of before or maybe you don't see as often, I will usually hold off on watching a review before I try it. And this one, I did that. And so there's no bias in me saying that I don't really care for it. I don't know if other people didn't care for it either, but it's a little thin. It's a little light. It's a little flavorless for a stout, if I'm being honest. And I am. I, I don't... It's not a bad. It's still a beer. I love beer. It's, it's good. I'll drink it. But I don't know. A double chocolate stout, I kind of wanted more. Stout with chocolate flavor added. This is like Guinness Draft kind of flavor. Not really... Not really as much going on as I would like. And I don't want to keep repeating myself. I don't want to be redundant. So I'll just say an 89 out of 100. It's a B+. Plus. I really was really hoping it'd be better, but it's not. 89 still good. I'll still drink it. And I'd even get this again, perhaps, to maybe try to uh, give it a second chance, so to speak. But 89 out of 100 for the double chocolate stout <clears throat> from Eagle Brewing Company out of the United Kingdom, 5.2% ABV. Thank you for watching. Cheers, and stay tuned. There will be more in the future. Thank you. Thank you very much.